That one is not so nice though. Just look at yourself and where you agreed has driven you. Greed quite the opposite. We did not fight for money or for land. We fought for our homeland and for our lord. We were loyal knights. Your father was unable to pay us so for many years uh, we fed our families on honor and the hope of victory alone. And we did so proudly. But with the end of the war, our hope died. We could not keep his promise. It was not our decision to cast away the oaths we gave your father. No. Your Lord Father has been strangling our oaths for years by himself. Don't you understand? We need food to keep our families alive. We cannot live on hope and honor alone. But you apparently seem to be living very well on blackmail, robbery and murder. Do not speak of honor. You are deaf. Yeah, he is kinda. And you are dead. Leave him, Rob. For what reason, Sir Victor? Out of mercy. Mercy? Get out of here. I spit on your pity, you will feel my vengeance, remember that. Better we move on before more of them show up. Should arrive soon, right, Rob? Well, um, yeah, it's not far. Let's hope the others manage to get there as well. A toast to our reunion. I'm so glad that nothing happened to you, Lenny. Glenn took good care of me. Yeah, unconscious in your arms. Ah, oh, thank you for bringing him here safely. Well, the people of Velond helped me. Is it a good idea that we drink here? Shouldn't we be resting? Someone is close. If it wasn't for the darkness of the night, we could reach it in no time. We have earned this break, right, Sienna? No need to ask me. I'm always available for a drink. I bet you can hold your liquor. You won't find out with this wine. You won't. Yeah. Uh, is that a challenge? Landlord, please bring me your strongest liquor. Honestly, I prefer class. I can serve with both. This liquor here has the fine taste of an Arcadian uh, predicate wine and the strength to knock down every, uh, even a warrior from Baki. Excellent. I plan to travel to Baki in the future. Let me try it as well. Alan, fetch the fruit layer, fruit layer, whatever, would you please? Yes. But Blondie has had enough. What do you mean? Are you drunk? Watch out, I, d I, I did not take a sip. I need to stay sober, sober for the Pringley sick. Oh my, Rob can't hold his liquor. He gets drunk just by smelling it. You see, we should go to sleep. Enough is enough. Don't get angry, Glenn. We have every reason to celebrate. The Kortara Mountains are behind us. Tomorrow the reward awaits us. If they even have the information we are looking for. We can't be sure of that. Maybe we missed something in Farnsport. Worst case, we are paid in gold. This brings us one step closer to the return of the Band of the Iron Bull. 
Have you forgotten our priorities? Of course not. But with gold, we can't finance our search. We can't live on my family's money forever. Calm down, both of you. If it's the alcohol doing the talking right now, then at least let it speak about more joyful things. Princess, princess, are you well? <laughs> it's too dangerous. We shouldn't go there. We. <laughs> you are the most important person I have, Nick. <laughs> Women like Sienna are just my type, but unfortunately, she doesn't seem to have any interest. Remember, Glenn, it's important to recognize when your attempts are futile. Some men think that uh, by being persistent, they are uh, proving their love to the woman, but in reality, they are just creepy. Don't be creepy, Glenn. Usually, my daily life consists uh, only of writing and traveling. Rarely do I get the pleasure of trying out my musical arts. Did you know that? Uh, when I was a little boy, I was a traveling showman and toured all over Eldria with a troupe. Even as a child, I had a very deep voice and could delight the audience with it. When my magical talent was recognized, I was sent to the University of Nish. Issa? Issa, I guess. My master, Bartholomew, suggested that I devote myself to musical magic. It was the perfect fit for me. If you want to make small talk, you are in the wrong place. But since I am drunk, I can make an exception. Did you know I no uh, own an airship? The Himmelskaiser, and I even have a crew member. We traveled to Valandis because the huge, huge, huge uh, was supposed to be anchored here and our ship needed repairs. I had myself dropped off in foreign spot to earn a little money once the repairs were to be done after a couple of weeks. I was supposed to be picked up. I wish we had better timing and we could have a flown to Tormund on the Himmelskaiser and would have saved us the trouble. But fortunately, we are now through Kortara in one piece. I just hope this quest is worth the effort. Because I have to get back to find sports somehow, too. When I left the castle, I wanted to be sure not to make any naive mistakes. I knew my savings wouldn't last forever and I would have to do hard, exhausting work that would push me to my limit. I was prepared for that, though. Uh, I was prepared for that, though. World out there. What is that? First. I was prepared for that, though, world out there, or so I thought. But the real problem wasn't doing the hard work, the real problem was finding work to begin with. Rob and I almost starved to death. Fortunately, he found a job with the city guard and was able to finance us for a few months. Then a job uh, opened up for me too. Rob was concerned that it might be too dangerous, but we did it anyway. We've had enough of dry bread and watery soup. It was the first instructive lesson for me after I left the castle. No map. <laughs> Scream. Strange one at that. Something wrong. We heard someone screaming. Oh, that I didn't expect you to notice. What are you talking about? What ha what happened out there? Oh, I think I know what it was. How about you explain it to my friend's landlord? With pleasure, please follow me outside. The reason for the scream is this flower here. What do you mean the flower can scream? If I pick one, yes, let me explain. As you know, there is a soul in every living being, whatever animal, human, monster or plant. It has developed differently depending on the being. A plant does not have much of it. A monster has a corrupt version. When a living being dies, the soul leaves the body and flows into the maelstrom, a vortex which all the ether of this world is united. In this whirlpool, the soul dissolves and mixes with other souls. 
when a living being is born, a new soul forms in the whirlpool of either and enters the body. It is, it, it is an eternal cycle. A new soul forms in the whirlpool of either and enters the body. Okay. These plants are very special. People here call them white roses because their true name is unknown in Valandas. It's actually called the Weeping Mary. It has a special characteristic in that when it dies, you can see how the soul leaves its body and disappears into thin air. Sounds like a human scream. How terrifying. And quite annoying for many farmers. They seem to have a soft spot for this plant. Your whole garden is full of them. The scream may be disturbing, but their appearance is beautiful. Did, it, did you hear that? What was that scream? <laughs> princess! Where are you, princess? <laughs> Let us draw the curtain for tonight. Many people find the soup disgusting, and if it is not prepared, probably they are right. One must remove the muddy taste of the dirt by letting it swim alive in clear water. That's nonsense. Are you still drunk? It's the muddy taste that gives cold soup the right aroma. But it's nothing more than damp dirt. You don't mean to tell me that uh, the dirt carries taste. Hey, I've eaten both variations. Your toad soup lacks any taste. Oh, Sienna, have you slept well? Where is she? Who are you talking about? Honey, she wasn't in our room. I thought she was out here. Are you talking about the young girl she left in uh, the inn with the first racer in the morning? Seemed to be in a hurry. What? But why would she not wait for us? It can't be true. Uh, she does not want to pay us off. I don't believe that. She did not seem particularly stingy. Maybe she has realized that you have not earned your reward. After all, she traveled half the way here only with the redhead. Whatever the reason may be, let's follow her. We should catch up with her quickly. Thanks for your hospitality. You're welcome anytime. Please visit us again soon. Sounds like we're going to, huh? Is there anything here, maybe? Looks like a one-off location. You are kidding. There's some secret when I... I'm oh, sorry that I'm killing all of those, but like... Maybe there's a secret when I... No? Okay. I killed them for no reason, I'm sorry. But why do they die if I run through it? Doesn't make any sense. You would be careful running through that. In real life. At least. Step into Fiora Woods. By the way, I should save the game. I just realized. doesn't really show it's better or worse okay Okay. 
Um. Yeah. Does it make sense if he has like the warrior emblem? Or should I give it to him? He has it attack, defense, and mind. Attack and in it. Not really sure though. I mean, we can try, right? Let's see how that one goes, shall we? Also, I suspect there's like in these woods the next emblem. We are four people again. And the damage immediately raises and I'm done. Holy crap. Oh, it's only two one. Targets attack and magic by 15% for three turns. Hope we get him. Yep, we did. Nice. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Yep. Wait, what? You're kidding. Hmm. 
how do I know that, like, which one of these guys can... can heal himself? A bad luck charm. Okay. Oh no. Main quest incoming. Wait, what? To the left direction? No secret areas or something. Go! Wow, this guy survived the attack. Okay, early. That was a sad one. Goodbye. Dealing 174 damage. You're kidding. Woohoo! The first hikers from the Kotara Mountains arriving so early, you must have slept at Old Dying Birds. Indeed, we are on our way to Tormund. Our companion has gone ahead. Have you seen her? No, unfortunately not. Are you sure? Uh, don't you want to know what she looks like to begin with? This time in the morning, only people from Tormund's direction pass by here. Nobody crosses the mountains in the dark. 
So if someone comes from your direction at this time of the day, they probably slept at the White Rose Inn. I would have noticed someone passing by, believe me. <laughs> the village of uh, Aideen is so close, we should ask there instead of interrogating this dubious figure. <laughs> yes. Do you, uh, uh, do you, uh, do what you want, but if your companion was a woman, you should hurry. <laughs> what do you mean? Never mind, never mind. Just the ramblings of a dubious figure. Fire well. Let us make haste. And this guy can be annoying sometimes. Little village, huh? A long feather. Ooh. That is actually, uh... On the way to torment, you have almost made it. Nice. The hopelessly damage on the White Rose Inn was once scientist. People say he was researching something forbidden and was... Run out of town, can you believe it? I bet it has to do with human experimentation. Now he is a simple innkeeper. Oh, he wants us to think that. Can people really change? Keep away from the western part of the fear woods. Forest dragons can be found there. Living in the woods, they may have lost the ability to breathe fire, but they are still very dangerous. Come on. Utility, all right. Nice. Okay, I see we almost have an half an hour complete. So what I am going to do now is save the game, upload some, uh, upload the three episodes I just recorded. And, um, yeah, I want to work on the thumbnail also, even if I like that red haired anime girl, he's supposed to look like her, right? Um, but it, you know, I could improve it. So yeah. And also today I uploaded like the last, um, episode. So I need to upload more. Right. So I'm gonna do a break, a recording break right here. C uh, take care of some things, and um, I'll be right. Uh, I'm 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 uh, I'm gonna be be right back. So, BRB.